Hello, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to do a quick overview of air conditioning or what we call HVAC. Um, and, you know, we're going to be going deeper into this as we go along. I'm just, this is just a quick little uh, overview. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get this thing on the road here. So uh, air conditioning uh, is, you know, originally air conditioning wasn't even put into uh, automobiles and now it's become more of a standard on cars. It's really kind of difficult to uh, get a car without air conditioning anymore. You almost have to order special. Like we, uh, back uh, years ago, when you know, automobiles first come out, there was really no uh, climate control uh, to them. And later on, to get air conditioning, you actually had to add it in or order special. Uh, special. So you'd have a special order going to get the air conditioning. All right. And this sounds kind of funny, but this is what my dad used to say all the time. You've always got 460. In other words, you got the window cranked down at, you know, all the windows in the car cranked down at 60 miles an hour. So that was your 460 air conditioning or whatever speed you're going at would be like 440 or whatever. And I thought this was kind of cute. I found this on the internet and there are, and if you look at the crazy stuff uh, that um, that you know people have done, uh, but this this one here, this this gentleman here actually has a house air conditioning routed down into his car. Now there's a few other ones I didn't uh, want to waste all the time on the different ones, but they're they can be quite funny. There's actually one where uh, the uh, air conditioning uh, with boards and the whole bit on the side of the car, and they actually run a um, a gasoline compressor on the trunk in the back, and they got it all wired up to a house air conditioning too. So, uh, but what what I really want to do is get first off, we really need to talk about safety of course and, and one of the big things we talked about before was about being safe in the actual you know repair industry and but air conditioning has its own little safety that we need to really discuss too uh as always we want to make sure we're protected uh we want to have our ppes you know uh, your shields is better for uh, refrigerant because if you get a refrigerant uh, on to your skin, you can have frostbite when you frostbite. And also, if you get it into your eyes, you can actually go blind. And with air conditioning, I really recommend that you uh, use a shield or at least a goggle type. The little, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to say cheap, but the regular. Um, safety glasses you might see in the shop may not give you as much protection because you want to make sure that your eyes um, are well protected when you're doing this. And it's a good idea to wear gloves too, because again, it could be frostbite. And uh, I know some of us wear short sleeve shirts, but we want to make sure that, yeah, you know, we have our arms protected because a little, you know, if we have our refrigerant, a uh, hose leak and have a blast of refrigerant go on your skin, you could get frostbite there too. We do have to be concerned too about other things like uh, high voltage uh, with hybrids and electric vehicles. They uh, use high voltage on the compressors. Uh, we're not talking about, you know, 12, 24, we're talking about you know, hundreds of uh, volt, 100 volts or better on the AC system, they actually use an electrical um, high voltage compressor. And one other thing we need to be aware of and uh, take care of ourselves in the process too is following all safety pr protocols because uh, our 1234YF 
can be considered flammable uh, if it's up to, against a heat source. So this is something else we need to be careful about. Uh, like I've mentioned before, uh, uh, when when you're you know working on uh, uh, R one two three four YF uh, systems, it's not a matter of getting a used part to put on. You want to make sure you're always putting new parts on, and be very diligent about checking it for leaks. Because uh, again, if you get uh, a leak on one two three four YF and it goes up against a uh, heat source, it could actually ignite. So we really need to be careful about that. So uh, air conditioning uh, has come a long way. Uh, we, we, like I said before, air conditioning was more of an add-on. Early on, you might have a heater, and we'll be getting into a uh, heater part of it too, because when we talk about HVAC, we're talking about heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. So uh, it was originally an add-on. You either had the uh, ducting up above was added on, or you might have something that's under the dash. And, uh, to this day, there are shops uh, that actually uh, install aftermarket air conditioning, it's usually on older cars. Uh, but still, they, uh, they, it is an add-on you can do. Some of the uh, people I've worked with, I mean, they're like Picasso's. They can uh, tap into the regular air ducting uh, for you know the dash or even make it look like it was original in that way too. So depending on what kind of kit you buy, you can actually get really creative on it. And air conditioning is uh, not so much anymore uh, mechanical. Uh, the early systems were more of a mechanical, as I call them, they were vacuum operated or cable operated. Now we are actually using uh, a lot of electric motors and to open and close the doors, which we'll get into a little bit later on. And there, you know, you dial it in and you just sit back and let it do what it, you know, you know as you uh, actually requested or put into it. And I'll, I'll talk more about the AC request as we get later into the, the uh, actual different series of these videos. Also, um, we'll, be, we'll be really talking a lot about the refrigeration cycle, which is coming up fairly soon. Um, yeah, and this refrigeration cycle it actually is really important when you're diagnosing the uh, AC system, uh, where it starts off with the compressor, goes to the, to the condenser, and then we go into some kind of a uh, expansion device, uh, and then going in the, to the evaporator, and then either having an accumulator or a free, uh, receiver dryer, and where all these components lay out in the AC system is really important to understand and what pressures are and, and what state the refrigerator, uh, refrigerant is at each part of the AC system. So we need to understand that too. We'll also talk about getting into uh, the, uh, the actual airflow. Uh, you know, how the air ducting comes into play and where it all lays out and how uh, AC actually works. And we'll be getting deeper into that, you know, when we get into the refrigeration cycle part of the class and the importance of cleaning out the ducting area. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be talking a lot more about that as we go along too. And then, like I said a little bit earlier, we'll be talking about the heating system because not only uh, do we uh, have to take care of the refrigeration side or the cooling side, we also need to uh, talk about the heating side because your customers will have, want to make sure the heater works during the winter when it gets uh, colder out. And they're gonna also be concerned about the refrigeration or the uh, making sure it's cool during the summer. And then the 
refrigeration so, uh, side of it and the heating side of it actually play a common goal to keep everything at a prescribed, you know, the prescribed temperature. It also helps with uh, the, uh, dehumidifying. And when we get into talking about defrosters, and it's really a key on this, if, you're, if your AC system is not working properly, your defrosting will not be working properly either. So we'll get into more about this also. And then also we'll get into the cool tools that we'll be using uh, fairly soon about the different types of tools that are out there just specifically for the AC system. Of course, you'll be getting into some regular tools like your regular hand tools and some of your power tools like that, which are our other videos I put together for you. And these are going to be more of a specific of air conditioning and how to use them properly and when they come into play. All right, folks. Well, hopefully this was not too long, but it was just a brief overview of the different AC um, equipment, also the introduction to a little bit of that, how the AC system works and what it, we what we're going to be going into as far as later the you know kind of digging in deeper into this series all right folks talk to you really soon